and AFC Wimbledon have tasted life in League One, but as these sides enter 2024, only one of them looks like making it back this year. Our immediate concern for Troy Deeney and the home side is to escape the very real threat of a double relegation. Rovers have seven points to make up on safety, and Deeney is still looking for his first win in his first managerial role. Johnny Jackson, meanwhile, has AFC Wimbledon in the playoffs on goal difference. The five wins in eight have put the Dons right in the mix. As Nibble wins possession. Under pressure. And that's well won. Morris Green Rovers on the charge. Here's McAllister. Needs room for the cross. And the header off the post is in. And it Three minutes, Matthew Stevens has the goal on his 100th appearance for Rovers. The early strike, just what they needed. Well, he missed the penalty last time out, Stevens. He was backed to recover from that, and he certainly has. An excellent header. Troy Deeney's side ahead. Wimbledon. A bit of work to do early doors here. We had that shot 1 0 defeat to Sutton on Boxing Day. Won't want to lose to the other member of the bottom two as well over the festive period. The ball slipped in. Alhamidi around the goalkeeper. And there is the equalising goal. Ali Alhamidi comes up with the goods yet again for AFC Wimbledon. Make that 17 for the campaign now. Well, how much are they going to miss Ali Alhamidi when he departs for the Asia Cup shortly? It's an excellent finish in the treacherous conditions. Boris Green Rovers not ahead for long. Just goes back towards halfway here as Horace Green Rovers look to recover after that setback. Goals have been a problem all season. Only Gillingham has scored fewer than the home side. Yeah, on the march again here as Morton goes with the header. Bass tipping it over the top. Well, it's another good move from the home side. Lifted in towards Morton. Bass would have expected to stop it and did so. The rain continues to pour. Despite that, both sides have been able to play a decent football. Al Hamidi taking it on himself. Off the woodwork. Well, that would have been a special goal in the circumstances. Taking on all comers, Al Hamidi just couldn't beat the post. Well, AFC Wimbledon starting to find a little bit of rhythm, but it's been given away. It's a good challenge, though. Now a bit of space here for Davison to attack. Looking to work it in field. Well, it's a couple of yards wide, but it got a touch on its way through. That will be a corner. It's a nice step inside. Couldn't find the target. Troy Deeney searches for his first win as Forest Green Rovers boss. Perhaps an omen in the fact that he got his first goal for Forest Green Rovers against AFC Wimbledon earlier in the season. The side need to do some work defensively here. Davison sending it in. The ball for Reeves. And Daniels makes a comfortable stop in the end. Davison's initial delivery only headed as far as Reeves and 
a strike, not one that would beat the goalkeeper. Now Tilly. Now soon wouldn't a bit in confidence in the game. It's been snuffed out and there's a urging for some support here. I'll tell you what though, Jones isn't going to need it. It's through for Stevens. And across the middle. Well, very, very close. Morton coming in here. Defender probably just does enough to make sure that Forest Green Rovers don't take the lead. Well, it's the AFC Wimbledon fans you can hear trying to urge their side forward. As Tilly picks it up from range. And he was down well again. Well, they've had a few efforts from distance now, AFC Wimbledon. Each time Luke Daniels has been equal to them. They're finding space. Here's the long throw then. Easily dealt with. That's a nice touch, plays it into Morton. Now McAllister, bit of space for him perhaps. And he clears the crossbar. Here's the Opportunities continue to build for Forest Green Rovers. McAllister onto his left foot. Beat the goalkeeper and the woodwork. It's well held up here. And on to Brown. And now Taylor. Well, they won't come much closer. Forest Green Rovers continue to ask the question. Brown making the run, it's played in nicely. That is an essential block coming in. And then Taylor just turns it past the post. Well, Johnny Jackson saying AFC Wimbledon needed the same level of fight as they did in their last game against Colchester. They've certainly shown that. And they need a bit of quality in the final third. And they find something from this left-hand side. In field, Daniels makes the save, Curry gets there. Well, it's the AFC Wimbledon fans claiming a penalty rather than anyone else. None of the players look for it. This was the better opening. Once again, Daniels doing his job. Reeves. Curry will leave this as AFC Wimbledon once again to press the issue. Reeves shoots in the crowd. Well, he took their advice and nearly won it. Well, there's another effort from range. And Daniels is scrambling. Daniels downfield then. One of the bouncers got the better of the defender. Taylor! Well, he'll want that back. Another good chance goes begging for Forest Green Rovers. Well, Taylor almost had the goalkeeper beaten, but not the post. Bass doing well to close down the angle. Still time, perhaps. It's a mighty scramble in there. Might fall for Dabo. Brilliant block. And that's the final action. Still no win, but there is plenty of encouragement for Troy Deeney in this Forest Green Rovers performance. They could have won it late on. Matty Stevens' early goal cancelled out in the first half by Ali Alhamidi. The point's enough to keep AFC Wimbledon in the final playoff place. The gap to safety for Forest Green Rovers has been cut to six points. It is still a mountain to climb. But on this evidence, not impossible if Deeney can install some better finishing from the league's joint lowest scorers.